Alright guys, how's it going? It's D-Trip. I've been playing the beta of The Division today on PS4 and I thought I would give a quick video on my first impressions of the game and what I'm kind of looking for in the completed game. So here we go. Right, so Division set in a kind of semi-post-apocalyptic New York um, the game looks graphically pretty average to be honest not as amazing as what I thought it would be the trailer I saw from E3 back last year made the game look amazing and uh, graphically it's not living up to the expectations that I had for it it may be a lot better on PC but like on console it's not the best looking game I've ever seen to be honest almost uh, I'd say looks like a Xbox 360 game or a PS3 game. So, yeah, I mean, the setting, like I say, is New York. It's snowy. It's pretty grim. There's a lot of uh, dead people around. There's a lot of kind of roaming animals and rats and stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty miserable setting for a game, which is you know what you sign up for when you play Division. Um, the gameplay, it feels a bit like Gears of War, it's your third person shooter which is cover based so no jumping around, it's all sticking to objects and hiding behind stuff. There's the kind of story mode, campaign mode, where you play through levels uh, killing kind of standard AI and then come across um, one or two harder players which are the bosses. Uh, which are just basically bullet sponges, take a lot more bullets to kill. And that's about it really. Um, the AI in this game do like to push, which is quite good because it means that you have to think about what you're doing. If you run into an engagement, the likelihood is that you're going to get mown down. Uh, you've kind of got to sit back, hide, avoid grenades, stuff like that. It makes the gameplay a bit more interesting. It is very slow paced. Uh, compared to the games that I'm used to playing, uh, things like Destiny and Call of Duty and like more first-person shooters. Um, to be fair, it's even slower pace than Gears of War. The second part of the game is set in the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone is basically a PvP and a PvE area where you take on AI. Um, to gain loot and also kill rogue operatives which are other PvP players which have killed innocent people uh, to claim their uh, loot as well. If you have a person who kills an innocent agent, another innocent agent, another PvP player then you go rogue which basically means that you've got a minute and a half that you've got to evade um, everyone else on the map basically you can come and kill you uh, and not go rogue. When you're rogue you can't extract the items that you've looted off people so um, basically you have to kill people and then go hide and then you can extract your loot. Uh, I've played it as a, a solo basically all day and I have not really enjoyed the Dark Zone to be honest. I have found that people just go around in groups of four, which is, you know, maximum party that you're allowed, which is fair enough. And uh, you basically get spawn killed and annihilated constantly. Um, you don't stand a chance against them. And, uh, yeah, it's quite a frustrating game, to be honest, uh, from that element. I think that's going to be the end game, kind of, that people stay for as the PvP in the Dark Zone. So. For solo players, I honestly don't think this is going to be a good game for people. Uh, if you play in a group of four, then it could be fun to go around and, um, you know, wipe out other groups and take out individuals and loot them and then gain all the new uh, weapons and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I don't know, as a single player, it's just not doing it for me. Um, Unfortunately, I don't know other people that uh, want to play this game, so yeah, it might be a no-go for me, but we will see. 
So yeah, that's basically how the game works. Um, I mean, the story mode is quite good fun. That could uh, keep you occupied for a while, I guess. But I wouldn't say that the story mode of the game is actually any better than, uh, like, say, Gears of War, games like that. In fact, I'd rather play Gears of War. Um, so, yeah, I'll say really it's a multiplayer game where you need at least a squad of four if you actually want to do anything. Uh, as far as long term, I'm not exactly sure how how many times you can go into the dark zone, even as a team, and keep looting. I imagine after a while I get pretty boring. Um, I think this is because all the weapons in the game pretty much look the same. There's not really much difference between them. It's not like you're getting um, new exciting items which make your character look unique. Uh, they all look pretty similar. That's why I don't think it will really hold people's attention. It's a colour based loot system where you can instantly see what you've got when it drops. You start off with your green, blue um, loot which is you lower end and then work up to well actually blue is quite high, uh, purple is like a purpley blue colour is like a legendary and then You've got uh, gold or yellow, which is like um, very rare, so kind of works a lot like the Destiny loot system as far as colour coding. Uh, as far as the actual items, I mean, you can get like gold plated guns and stuff like that, I think. Uh, not that I've seen any yet, but I believe that's what you'll be getting. Um, but I don't think that any of the weapons or outfits in the game that I've seen so far. Um, are unique enough to keep people interested uh, in the game and really the whole point in a, like a loot based system is that you completely customise your character um, you've got RPG elements in the game as well like crafting on your weapons and stuff so you can make your guns more powerful, attach different attachments, stuff like that but we will see what happens with that in the full game as a lot of it has been locked off in the beta so yeah, my kind of final verdict on this game is if you're playing as a group, maybe a three or four, uh, you should have a lot of fun in the dark zone, uh, at least for a while, looting people and upgrading your characters. Um, as a solo player, the campaign's quite a fun kind of thing to work your way through, but when it comes to PvP and the dark zone, uh, I think you're going to struggle unless well, unless I've missed something or the system gets changed so you're against other solo players uh, and not coming up against teams all the time, which completely wipe you out. So, yeah. Well, cheers for watching the video, guys. That's just my thoughts on the uh, game so far. You know, it's only the beta, so take it with a pinch of salt. And like I say, it's only my opinion, so, you know, don't get angry or anything. Uh, if you like the video then hit the like button and if you could follow that would be amazing too. It really helps the channel out and uh, I will see you guys next time. Alright, catch you later. Bye.